Hi, I'm Dr. Altman. I'm here in downtown Louisville, Kentucky, standing outside the Louisville Slugger Museum. This is where they make the baseball bat used all over the world. Pretty much the baseball bat, the Louisville Slugger. We're going to go see if they'll let us do any filming inside. Hi, my name is Don Green. I'm a tour guide here at Louisville Slugger in Louisville, Kentucky. And the bat you see behind me is a bat that was used by Babe Ruth. In the 1927 season, he hit 60 home runs. Unfortunately, he broke the bat and he notched his home runs around the trademark. That's what you're seeing. The museum takes you from the raw cut lumber to the billets to the lathe machine. These machines crank out baseball bat after baseball bat with precision and accuracy. Although each bat is slightly different because it's a unique piece of wood, which is a living thing. From this machine, the bats are taken to another line where the ends are cut off. They're hollowed out a little bit. And they're ready for the painting or staining, the varnishing, and then the labels are burned into them. And then they're ready for the rest of the world. This is a big baseball bat. Look at this thing. Got to be, what, the second biggest baseball bat I've ever seen in my life. I wonder how tall that thing is. Okay. We want to know how tall this is in the y-axis. We measured to the base of this thing in the x-axis. I'm now going to trundle wheel over there, see if I can find the distance from this location over there. Thirty meters to be thirty meters, and then when we triangulated the angle, measuring tool to see exactly what angle I'm at. Okay, I'm measuring an angle of uh, see that would be zero, so 10, 20, 30, 40, about 49 degrees. Came up with 49 degrees. We know the tangent of the angle is opposite over adjacent, so that's y over x. So the tangent of the angle is equal to y over x. We want to know y, so we multiply both sides of the equation by x. We end up with y being equal to the tangent of the angle times x. So y is equal to the tangent 49 degrees times 30 meters. You can do that yourself. Okay, go do it.